ITP in pregnancy. This is immune thrombocytopenia. This is usually a diagnosis of exclusion where you're going to have isolated lab abnormality of thrombocytopenia, platelets below 100,000. It is very suspicious if platelets are below 50,000. The disease is usually caused by some type of preceding infection, like a URI, causing antibody formation, which results in opsonization and then clearance of platelets. For these patients, platelets should be followed every trimester with treatment initiated when platelets are below 30,000. The treatment options would include IVIG or steroids. The steroid options would be prednisone. A common dosing would be 0.5 to 2 mg per kg per day. The usual response with steroids will be between one and four weeks after initial treatment. In patients that fail medical management, splenectomy is an option, but you need to be careful and make sure that the patient is vaccinated against encapsulated organisms. The notables for management of these patients during labor would include that they should be avoiding NSAIDs and they should also be avoiding interventions that would increase the risk for fetal hemorrhage. The intracranial risks would be FSC and vacuum assisted vaginal delivery. Though there is an increased risk, the rate of intracranial hemorrhage has been suggested to be a little bit less than 1%. And that's a simple breakdown of ITP in pregnancy. The more you know.